Alright everybody, welcome to Fallout New Vegas True Hardcore episode 31. I am jumping right in. No hesitation. I am taking this box full of my things and just kicking it around. Trashing all my shit. So it's got everything in here though. We're walking it all the way to Novak because we found our first uh, cell that is player owned. So, okay. So, I guess, let me, if, if you're not familiar, I'll just go ahead and give me something interesting to talk about. Some of how the game works. So, wherever you are that is a location, in any Bethesda game, Morrowind through Fallout 4, the place you're at is referred to as a cell. So, the, a cell is like a location, and there are interior cells, and exterior cells. So as the name implies, anywhere where you're outside in the overworld, like where I am now, you're in an exterior cell. And anywhere that's a building, cave, dungeon, train yard, etc., that is all going to be interior cells. And so when you are in an interior cell, um, how it works is the door is what connects you. So when you click on that door, it teleports you from one cell to the next. Um, so that, that gives you some kind of like guts knowledge on how that works. Um, when you're in the overworld, where what cell you're in is actually based on a set of coordinates. So, so the center of the map might be zero zero, and then you know if you go north, you'll be going into positives. South, you'll be going into negatives. That kind of thing. I was just through here and there were no coyotes. Dog, if you're trying to die, come fight. I ain't trying to kill you. I'm just trying to get by. I'm cool if you're cool, buddy. Thanks. So, what I was getting at with the cells is I have found my first interior cell. So, okay, th th let me continue. Let me explain some things. Cells have attributes. So, you know, kind of like how an item has attributes, you know, object has attributes. Like, like this grass object I can walk through, the rock I can't. That's because that's of the different object properties. So, so, you can say cells have properties, right? And one of these properties of a cell is the owner. The cells actually have an owner. So like if you go into Margaret Jones's house, chances are that the owner of that cell is Margaret Jones, you know? And so I have found the first cell where because you pay for it, you need a key to get in there, you get in there. And uh, I'm, the Novak Hotel is what's called a player owned cell. And so any location that is a player-owned cell does not have object response, which is important. That means that no matter how long you leave your stuff in those boxes in that room, it will not disappear. And the same is not true of a neutral cell that is unowned by anybody. So what you can do, and if I really wanted to keep that gas station in Good Springs as my home, what I could do, is you can make a mod where you, and this is just so you guys know, it's this simple. If you want a house anywhere and you just want to make that your house, download the GEC. It's super simple. Just download the GEC, okay? And then go to that cell that you want to be your house and make yourself the owner of that cell. And once you do that, don't you don't have that mod on if you're gonna make a new save or things might be weird but I mean it wouldn't change anything enemies would still spawn in there etc but if you make a cell your own that'll be a way to make it so your stuff doesn't despawn so if you're you know googling is this is this place safe to store my items is that place safe to store my items? well anybody anywhere can be safe to store your items all you gotta do is make that cell belong to you so just a, a cool little tip about how that works. 
And all you gotta do is go to that cell and change the cell property of owner to player. Super simple. But I'm just experiencing this game for the first time. I'm just seeing what they have to offer, the developer, and going with it. So the first the first player owned cell I have is the Novak room. What do we call it? Motel, hotel. So I can throw my things in there. I can go for expeditions for X amount of time. I can come back and my things will always be there waiting for me. Won't well, have to worry about how long I'm gone for things to despawn. It'll just be there. Seems like a pretty nice town. So not only that, so that that's a major, major bonus of something where for long term player housing, you really want that, you know, if you're gonna be playing and the, the thing about that trick, it works in any Bethesda game, Morrow and Tooth Fallout 4. You take any interior cell, you make it belong to the player, and the things you put there will never despawn. Period. That's how it works. It's pretty nice to know that. Um, you can make it up like, like Fallout 3. Um, I, I made a save where I made a house in Great Itch, just some abandoned house. I made that my house. And all you gotta do is go and make it so this house is the player's house. And then all the stuff in there, it's safe. I went to the DLC, came back, you know, weeks later after having been on an alien ship and, you know, barely survived and all that crazy stuff. Come back from your spiels and everything will still be waiting for you. It's always a nice bonus. These guys don't know that they're near death class, so I'll just leave them be. Learning a little bit about Fallout. <laughs> Funny, some of the the best commentary comes from just you know walking across the desert with a box. And uh, I mean, I'm I'm searching the horizon still. You know, I'm checking my my bar down on the bottom. I'm watching where enemies are and that kind of thing. But I just came through this area the other day, and so literally yesterday, this whole path cleared it out. So not too concerned. It's a pretty safe path, a lot of it too. Good Springs is safe, this road leading up to um, Novak here. They said they got the sniper, and I don't think anything really spawns between here and there. You know, I might have some some goofy radiation enemies over there, or blow fly or whatever, but. Or I might get ambushed and just bum rushed by a you know, random encounter, who knows? But it's been alright so far. Yeah. Again, here yesterday, no trouble. that dinosaur off in the distance to make my home home they said it couldn't be done they were wrong took this box carried it from the from where I picked it up all the way to Good Springs and all the way to Novak. Wasn't too bad. You know, didn't have us wasting four episodes doing it. This is just like as long as I would have taken a normal walk. So there you have it. Lovely. I can bring it right up to my door. If I need to use it again in the future, it'll be chilling right there. Okay, so now that we have everything, everything on us, let's go through this stuff. Let's see what guns we want to use. Yeah, you know, let's start, let's start here. So we got 58 Magnum rounds, and the Magnum. I'm gonna keep those. Don't have any. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna find a big rifle one of these times, and I'm just gonna lose my shit. <laughs> this is gonna be so nice. I got a nice gun, 
and I like it in the surgeon mouth, do not get me wrong, but that would be swell. Sell that. BBs, BB gun. Machete. Chopper, don't need it. Cowboy repeater, don't need it. RCW. I think only does eight damage a shot. Weak. I saw a few things I could patch together. There's one. There's two. Nice, now I got a full rad suit. There's this plus 30. Lovely. And Fallout 3, I would actually use these rad suits a lot of the time too. I'd switch to the rad suit, swim across a lake or a body of water, and then switch back. That's quite useful. Paparatics, and you can swim all the way across the bay there um, near River City. The Northern Territories. I had made my way to that DLC. in here. Which is not everything. Not everything belongs in here.
going real nice. Got my way down significantly. Look at that. Now we still gotta grab some food, but we're looking real nice. We got it down to just our magazines and our healths and, you know, some basic things. I'll drop that fiery purgative in this bag. Going really well. So we got all our guns put away, we got all our armor put away, we got all our food put away, we got our crafting shit put away. And now we can go here and go. Dirty water. It'll take seven of them. Gecko steak. Let's take all those. And there we go. And then it's like, damn, we good. I don't think we really need. I think what we got for miscellaneous. We got all the ammos we're gonna need. So that's five guns. So my revolver, my grenade rifle, my plasma pistol, my shotgun, and my rifle. So this is six, this is five. This is four, this is three. Seven. Let's go seven and eight. There we go. Cool. So we got our weapon set, just our apparel that we need. Um, cool. We got our food. We got our water. We got our heals. Oh, we can dump off a couple weapon repair kits. That I, or, do you know I can dump off all my weapon repair kits? That. I'll I'll keep two of them with me. I'm going to heal pick I'm gonna pick up guns and heal them up, but I don't really need to be just walking around with this. Hmm. Oh, I don't really need I don't really need them for anything. I got a couple that I could, but it'd just be you know, scrapping it, keeping it hundred percent. So hell yeah. So this in there. I'm at ninety, I got a hundred pounds to walk away with. Uh, what is our stream time at? Now, last time I just checked and it was 58 minutes, but it was a little beyond that, so I'm actually going to set my timer a little earlier than I have been. What are we, 19? Did we say? Yeah. So I can make sure, because I, I went over uh, an hour by like two seconds, I think. Like, damn, I thought I had it. So... All right. Okay, we are back. We're settled into our hotel room. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Need some food, we need some water, but check this out. That door is loud and I like to swing the other way, but could have worse problems. So we'll just go ahead and drink up some water here. Enough to get us 
be thirsted. And we can come over here. Take however many radaways we need. That's our rats at 241. Mm -hmm. Oh, they do 80 now, not 70. That's lovely. Okay, cool. Cool. So, those will take a sec, but they'll do their thing. And then 120 food, so that's one gecko steak. Characters coming along quite nicely. What are you all about, fella? Hey there. Been to the top of the dino yet? So it's 7.43, so I have not slept yet. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do that then. Where did my rads end at? Lovely. Nothing. Oops. Okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and sleep for like 12 hours. I'm gonna go talk to that fella outside in the dino who's sniping at night. You guys would never get to hang out if one of you was up there 12 hours and the other was up there the other 12 hours. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? You told me to come talk to you tonight. Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? I think you bet. Wait. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. I want you to find something out from me. Yeah, what do you need? I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal, so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. I know, all right. That's all you need to know. Sorry. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. Ooh. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. But the Legion will be after me next. Dang. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That was a good time to do that. I was gonna say I wanted to just do that at night. Be quick and clean over it. Come back. Sleep for a couple more hours. Get up and start a day. Let's 
So, what do we got to do here? Okay. I'll know the other one when I see his room name. It's not Boone, it's the other. Hey there. There's crafting stations here too. You guys are the bomb. There's some things on that shelf. Dang. He's got the setup here. Got a workbench and a reloading bench. You have a fire pit too. I think you do. Somewhere in here. Start in the closest building, working my way across town. Howdy. I didn't even know you existed. You're from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. Losing don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. Every night around midnight, I Alice and I wake house. up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. you think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. Hmm. We'd be grateful, especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Interesting. Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know them two as well as I might. I remember she had an edge about her, like she'd rather be someplace else. This kind of life ain't for everyone. That's for darn sure. Interesting. Thanks. So long. What brings you here? Wow, that's the strangest thing. Last time it happened, I could swear I heard someone cry out for help. Sounded like a big fella. But when we finally got up the gumption to go look outside, all we found was our cattle. I wonder if and it's I a super And I know what they man. sound like when they get upset. I can't imagine what went on. Dusty can probably tell you more about it. Boom. That's that sniper fella. Works in the dinosaur, right? I only met them but once or twice. They seemed real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. Oh, we keep to ourselves for the most part. Try not to pry. I think Jeannie Mae gets bothered that we aren't more sociable. But it's just our way. Ain't that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. Not that there ain't others who pry around here. That no bark was skulking around our yard last week. <laughs> I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bull whip till I saw who it was. He's harmless, though. Part of me wishes I could see things like he sees them. All full of mystery. I'm not sure who started it. It wasn't a very nice name. But he took to calling himself by it, so we all had to. I don't even remember what his real name is. <laughs> anyway, 
I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy, that not all of your dogs are barking. Poor no bark. Come with Night. me. There's something you should see in front of the dinosaur. You folks seem pretty average. I'm okay with it. Thank you for your time. Don't see anything right here. Is anybody home? Nobody home. I think I'm in here. I'll talk to that chick after. Trap house, okay. I gotcha. I don't even think they knew that that was sitting there. What's, what's that all about? I don't think they knew it just stumbled across. Happened to me once. What can I do for you? Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. Oh, uh, never mind. It's real nice. Give me a shout if you need anything else. She doesn't have anything to say about it. Between you and me, I she don't think she's studied that. Should I be warned? Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. What? You've seen them too, haven't you? I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> I knew I wasn't the only one. Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. Ghosts. Kami ghosts, who don't know they're dead. Hoping to steal our rockets, so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I seen <laughs> one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Although... Being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a kami ghost and so forth. I wonder if they're pre-war ghouls. Cause they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is got bite, cause it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rat scorpion stings that done pierce my skull. Now I know what I seen. I don't doubt you. Probably got some ghouls in the people that sound. I don't know what's going on. I don't trust a man that doesn't have something strange going on about him. Because it means he's hiding it from you. If a man's <laughs> wearing his pants on his head, or if he says his words backwards from time to time, you know it's all laid out there for you. But if he's friendly to strangers and keeps his home spick and span, more often than not he's done something even his own ma couldn't forgive. <laughs> seen it all seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night thought one might have gone in the lobby too for a spell could be that person went in to get something or used the john maybe <laughs> pretty interesting either way you asked me I thought it was cannibals come to eat us all for sure <laughs> so I kept out of sight not quite but now I know better more rat men come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks' long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. 
There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural work of the chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says Nobark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. <laughs> get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. I come That's face to good. face with the chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. What the hell? Best I could tell anyways, since when he come up to me, he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible what too. What the hell? Only more invisible than the other one. Okay, <laughs> let me pause for a second. What the hell? Okay, so something's got two heads, it's got fangs, it's got a gatling gun, it's got a cloak, and there's two of them? I'm so confused. If anyone asks, we never spoke. No problem, no wreck. Okay, what? This place is so goofy. So what did he... Look for evidence of the guilty party inside the Dino Delight lobby. Interesting. Well, all kinds of stuff going around in Novak here. Oh man, I wonder if I'm gonna get myself in some shit if I try to fight this thing at night. It sounds like, here's the tricky thing, it sounds like from what he just described to me, now I don't know how crazy he is, but this thing has both ranged and melee attacks. Or they, or it, or him, or whatever this thing is. And so I'm thinking, like, just getting myself a cheesy roof to be on is not going to be enough because he's going to have a Gatling gun. But I still think my best bet is a rooftop initially. We'll see how it goes. Give it a go that away. That's right, I can get up here. And just watch the cows. I won't be able to vats tag them now. Let's see if there's a closer roof that I can access. This one looks accessible, maybe. Close. Ugh. Oof. Oof. Look at that. Now, this is a decent spot. I got this. This is not going to cover me, though. Let's see. Okay. It does a decent job if if he's like comes over that way I'm screwed. But... Okay. Here's where I'll make my stand, I'll figure out what this thing is that supposedly has a good cloak on him. It's gonna have to be a knight. No no, it's the mon oh shit. I see him. Is that a super mutant with a... What the hell are you? I see him. Dude, what the hell is that? Oh, it reminds me of when you'd see the bloodsuckers on Stalker. Losing units who don't know what it is. Nightkin. The hell is a nightkin? I 
see you, fella. You got hostile, you're done. creepy looking the hell is a nightkin and why does he have a stealth boy going spooky 
I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. I hope you're fine. I wonder if he's like kind of escorting me. Welcome back. Can I get you? Can't say we spoke much. Boom did most of the buying for him. She was in the store hmm. once, but she didn't stay long. Hmm. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. Welcome back to the mystery. Thank you. What's going on, man? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one <laughs> friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in her room all day and make herself miserable. And she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. Believe me. When I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boom would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Hmm. Left. Welcome. Welcome back. Can I... Talk to you here. Looks like oh, I haven't talked to these folks. I don't think. Jeez. <laughs> Hello. It's pretty funny. I want one of those floor mats when I make my house. Hey, welcome. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. Hey, I'm in. What's up? You got some armor. Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, those smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. No, that place was Hell, empty. Listen man. to me talk, like some damn mother hen. The Rangers are soft. They're probably already dead. Uh, no. No, they're 
gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. Carla was a knockout. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he always had this funny grin on his face like he couldn't believe his luck. I know we couldn't. That wasn't the only reason she stuck out, though. That girl never minced words. If she'd had better food or hospitality, she'd let you hear it. Trouble was, she usually had. I don't think she meant it. She really was a sweet girl. I think she just wanted to remind herself that there's still nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her for that? Had his wife taken. I told the rangers up at the station to keep an eye out. Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Oh, something shit. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the Damn. first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. Rangers, eh? Rangers are in Wasteland as well, which hey, is a game uh, series that a inspired I know what Fallout. I said, but if you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. Some of the games I thought about kind of proceeding on to after playing this for you guys is uh, Wasteland, actually, and Fallout Tactics, and like kind of the other, the other similar stuff to this would be cool, because I've never really done it or played it through. You need sight. This is all related. That would be interesting. If perhaps the Night Stalkers are the ones who took this guy's wife. style but this one is friendly because it's a scripted event here 
Is this just a type of enemy that appears? It doesn't look human. I don't think it's a human. What the hell? Whoa. Is that a super mutant? It looks kind of like a super mutant, but it... Hey, I see you, fucker. You look like a super mutant. stands. He just goes and he stands right there. Let's go stand over by them and then we'll engage in a fight. In control. In control. What is your problem there, buddy? You're talking. Understand, is this guy supposed to be hostile? of Brahmin and a mini gun. <laughs> okay. So I think that thing is like a super mutant. But it had a fucking cloak. Between you and me, I don't think she's studied. She hasn't paid anything yet. Should I be worried? Alright, let's get in here. Nothing out what the hell happened. Find anything? Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Ooh. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there and we'd be able to eat them here. <laughs> Thanks. So long. Hey, accept it. Nice. It's cool. Good country folk. Look hey. Come 
on, help me out, Jeannie Mae. Is everything all right? I'm a little confused by this objective where it says I wonder if this is so this guy said he used to be a con, and these guys are talking about it, and I wonder if Benny is one of the guys who I saw with the checkered shirt man back at the intro. site. I got the Helios 1 that I'm going to go check out, and I got an abandoned for the steel bunker. But for now, we uh, have gone over our hour limit, and I was trying to get done with everything in Novak today, but not to be had. There's uh, so much more to see here, so I'm going to sleep up. May as well. We're over the hour anyways, so all right. Thanks for watching, folks, and I will see you on episode 32. We'll get some more going here.